Now let's talk about um, uh, question 2, C and D. So the part C is saying the speed of a nerve impulse in a human body is about 100 meters per second. If you accidentally, if you accidentally stab your toe in the dark, but one, estimate the time it takes the nerve impulse to travel to your brain. But two, what would happen if the speed of the nerve impulse was much lower, let's say one meters per second, assume that you are, we are assuming that you are 1.6 tall, meters tall. So then, we do know that in this case, if you've been given just one velocity, we always use this formula. Okay, velocity or speed is equal to distance over time. And our goal is to find time for the first part. So time will be equal to distance over velocity. The distance is 1.6, we have been told so. The velocity is 100. So then t will be equal to 1.6 divided by 100. So that should be 0 0.016 seconds. So it will take 0 0.106 seconds for the nerve impulse to reach the brain. That is the part one. Part two, what would happen if the speed of the nerve impulse was much lower, let's say one, mit one meters. So let's, ha let's see what will happen to time. So if the, t the distance is the same, but the, the, the speed is now one meters. So the time will be 1.6 seconds. We can clearly see that when the, when the speed was higher or when the speed was 100, it took about, it was, it took less time, it took 0 0.16 seconds for the nerve impulse to reach the brain. So now if the speed is lower, is lowered, and then the time is going to, it will take more time for the nerve impulse to reach the brain. So it will, the answer here is, it will take more time after finding this, then you say, it will take more time for the nerve in the, uh, impulse to reach the brain. That's all. So that is it for part C. Let's go to D. D is saying it's a vector problem. And for this vector problem, I would do it like this. Okay, so that I have enough space. While exploring a cave, a person starts at the, at the entrance and moves the following successive distance. She goes 75 meters. So I'm going to write an XY plan. Why am I going to do this? To make things simple for me. So she goes 75 meters north. That is north. So I'll say that is my vector. Let's, let's get that to be A, 75. So when the vector is going north, okay, the angle is 90. <coughs> This is south, east, west. And then what else? 100 meters east. So going in that direction. So we'll call that as B. So we'll call that as B. 150 at an angle of 30 degrees. It is in the first quadrant. We'll call this ABC. So this is C. The angle is 30. No. The question is 150 meters at an angle of 30 degrees north of west. So then it's not supposed to be here. So it's north of west. When you have got an angle which is north of west, meaning that the angle is near north, is near west than north. So the angle is near the last part than the first part. So that angle, 30 degrees, it is near west, meaning it's here. That is now C. That is 150. And we do know that the angle which we have to get come from this point all the way to that point. So 180 minus 30 
is 150 degrees. That's the angle I'm going to use. Then 300 south. So we also have another vector here south. We'll call that vector D. So the angle is 270. Now, after doing this, you have to resolve each vector into x and y component. But I'm going to show you the easiest way. We want to find the resultant. Okay? So to find the resultant, we are going to say Rx, the x component of the resultant, is going to be as a result of. Okay? The x component of the resultant is going to be as a result of all the x component of the vectors we have been given. So the Rx will be equal to Ax plus Bx plus Cx plus Dx. So whenever you are resolving a vector into x component, we use cos. So Rx will be equal to A cos theta plus B cos theta plus C cos theta plus d cos theta. So now we can plug in the values. What is vector a? Vector a is 75 cos the angle is 90 degrees. Vector b is 100 cos the angle is going toward east is 0 degrees plus c is 150 cos the angle is 150 D is 300 cos 270 degrees. So let's see. So you get the calculator and say 75 cos 19 plus 100 cos 0 plus 150 cos 150 plus 300 cos 270. So the answer I'm getting is negative 29.9 .9 meters. Now we have our Rx being equal to negative 29.9 .9 meters. Now we, we need also to find the, the y component. So the y component will be Ry will be equal to Ay plus By plus cy plus dy. So the same formula, whenever you are resolving a vector into y component, we use sine s sine theta plus b sine theta plus c sine theta plus d sine theta. Now we plug in the values. So ry, what is a? So you write the same thing, 75 Sine the angle is 90 degrees. B is 100. Sine the angle is 0 degrees. C is 150. Sine 150. D is 300. Sine 270. So our ROI will be equal to 75 sin 19 plus 100 sin 150 sin what? sin 0 plus 150 sin 150 plus 300 sin 270 so I'm getting my angle to be what? to be negative 150 my ROI so ROI is negative 150 meters. Okay, now that we have the X component and the Y component, it's high time we get rid of this. I'll write it from here. So we can get rid of this. We want to find the resultant. To find the resultant of the vector, after coming up with the X and Y component, then we use this one. The square root of Rx squared plus Ry squared. So then, 
what is Rx? Rx is negative 29.9 .9. we square it then plus negative 150 we square it the resultant will be equal to so you ignore the negative because squaring the negative you end up having positive okay so I'm getting two twenty three thousand three hundred and nine and ninety four point one point zero one the square root of that number is one fifty two point five one fifty two point nine five one meters to round it off it is 153 meters that is the resultant of the vector then after finding the resultant of the vector we need also to find the angle now I always mention this guys you look at the signs x is negative y is negative the angle falls in the third quadrant in the third quadrant, when I use this formula, theta being equal to, okay, when I use this formula, theta being equal to tan, tan inverse of ry divided by rx, then, let's see you ignore the negative but you also know that negative and negative will cancel out 150 divided by 29.9 .9. theta will be equal to shift tan open brackets 150 divided by 29.9 .9. so that is 78.7 degrees but since the angle falls the angle falls in the second quad third quadrant we have to say 180 plus 75 78.7 so therefore the angle we are looking for is 258.7 degrees so this 2.8 is above positive x axis positive x axis so that's the answer but if you want to report 78 and you know that 78 degrees is here you can say 78 south of west if you want that way 78.7 south of west Meaning that you are telling them that this 78 is near west than south, which is true. Okay, so that is it for this part.